The Brave Engineer is quite a cute cartoon from Disney. This is quite different to a lot of Disney cartoons because our protagonist is a human and that's obviously not that rare with Disney cartoons but quite often with this, if there's scope for the protagonist to be an animal, they would do that. But with this, they decided to just make a nice, slightly dramatic cartoon about an engineer. Now, he is an engineer. I would personally call him a train driver. But this individual called Casey, uh, who is voiced, voiced by Jerry Colonna, who also voices a couple of other characters, is driving this train. And I have to say, I love the design of this train. Um, this is actually about a specific event. And when you acknowledge that it's about a specific event, it actually becomes quite emotional because when you're watching it, it's dramatic but entertaining, it's gripping, you think, how how is this going to resolve itself? And then you realise it's based on a real event. And I'm not actually going to say what happened with that real event because I wasn't aware that it was based on truth until I watched it and then I went and researched it. And I would advise that you do the same if you aren't aware of who Casey Jones is. But afterwards, definitely look into Casey Jones and what happened there. Um, because it's quite... It's quite moving. And it's interesting that Disney chose this particular story to tell. Um, and, qu and quite nice as well. You know, there's a kind of nice, immortalising aspect to it. And I think for the most part it's quite sensitively done. But at the same time, it is gripping. It will you know, make you bite your fingernails, wondering what's going to happen next. Is it actually factually accurate? I'm not sure. I do not know. Um, if you do know, please feel free to let me know. I'd be interested to know where they've taken creative license. Certainly one of the first places where they've been a bit more creative is the design of the train. Um, not that the train doesn't look realistic, but obviously um, it's a bit more animated in style. And obviously the train doesn't have as much of a personal character as previous Disney trains, it is very much about the engineer. And we get to see this train going off on its journey, things start out quite fine, but then suddenly things to, things begin to go a little bit wrong. And as it continues, certain problems are overcome, and the train gets back up to full speed, it's chugging along, everything is going well. There's another problem. And this happens quite frequently and some of these problems are quite basic. There's a cow in the way, um, there's a traditional kind of villain with a curly moustache. But as it continues, I believe it gets more into the truth of the actual story. And um, well, it gets quite interesting. I don't want to say what happens as much as I want to talk about it. Um, the ending isn't quite truthful. Um, to say the least but it's certainly a very interesting interpretation the events that lead up to the ending which is not 100 percent accurate and um, for very obvious reasons and the events that lead up to it i think might be based factually on truth i realize i'm waffling quite a bit here i'm trying to remember what i learned when i was um kind of looking into casey jones's story basically on the surface, it's a fun story about a train that is on a journey and it, it encounters all kinds of problems and it overcomes the problems and then the next one comes along bigger and more powerful. This story is told from the perspective of Casey Jones, our engineer. Casey Jones was a real person and had quite a tragic story on which this is based, but it's not 100% factually accurate. But if you can pinpoint bits that are definitely truthful or very heavily based on reality, I would love to know. Um, I'm sure I can read more into it myself if I'm so minded, if I remember. It's an interesting tale. Um, I enjoyed watching it. I, I thought it was quite dramatic. I didn't think there were too many obstacles, which, um, you know, certain dramatic things like this may, you know, they sometimes put in too many ob obstacles and make it a little bit unrealistic. But this one, I think, is mostly plausible. Which is why I also feel like a lot of it is fabricated until we get to certain points. I enjoyed it. Very well animated. I thought it was very pleasing to watch. Definitely introduced me to the character of Casey Jones. I believe there was a Casey Jones TV series. I think he's quite a famous um, individual. There are some sources that say he was not a real person. I believe that he definitely was, but feel free to argue with me on that point if you know anything about him. I'm very happy to be proven 
otherwise definitely check out the brave engineer i think it's one you'll really enjoy it's certainly quite unique